The rise of the machines are here and they want to have a conversation with you. Well, they actually want to have the conversations for you. What's going on everyone? My name is Lefty, your sales video Jedi. And in this video, we're going to be talking about chat GPT. And if this is your first time here, this channel is all about filmmaking, video marketing strategies, and your auditorium. Last week, Open.ai released a mega monster that took the internet by storm and YouTubers, coaches, online experts, everybody has not stopped talking about ChatGPT. So what is ChatGPT? Clarify.com says this, at its core, ChatGPT is a deep learning model that uses a transformer based neural network to generate human-like text. What the actual f did you just say to me right now? They're probably just mining their information from Google. And they also claim that ChatGPT creates conversational-based text, but quite frankly, I used it the other night and it seems to be a little robotic. And of course, I cannot judge a book by its cover because let's be realistic, this is the first generation that we, as the public, get to use AI for pretty much almost everything that we're gonna be doing. And it is an exciting time, but I do see a lot of concerning elements that come with this. Running and operating a video marketing agency, the number one thing that is just as important, if not more important than the video itself, is the scripts that go behind the videos. And to be quite honest, I don't think a program or a software or an artificial intelligence can do and write the things that I do and write. Because when we want to plug into human emotion, we need a human touch on those scripts. And although you can copy and paste those scripts, put it into a Word document, finesse it yourself afterwards in post, the whole reason why you're going to want to use these to begin with is to save time. So are you really saving time if you have to go back to the editing room and do it all yourself? you might as well have just hired that professional to begin with. But it is absolutely amazing for content-based purposes. If you just need a quick caption, if you just need a quick post that you gotta throw out on Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook, it is honestly amazing. It is a great tool. It spits out so much amazing information. Although I do feel like I mentioned before that it's just mining data from Google because let's face it, where else is it gonna get its information from? And although it's custom tailoring something based on what you asked it because that's how it works. You type in a question based on something that you want an answer to and then it gives you the most coherent answer from that topic or that question that you asked it. Sometimes the length of that answer could be a paragraph, sometimes it could be a few paragraphs, but it just mines data. It's just pulling information from a blog post, a website, something that Google has already put out maybe a Google definition. So is it really catering to your needs? Is it really catering to your business needs? Is ChatGPT going to actually be at the forefront of your copy game? Or is it just gonna be on the back burner based on using it for whatever it is that you need to use it for? I personally can say I will use it. I will probably use it from time to time but it's only going to be used when I feel like I have just mentally drained my brain and I cannot write for myself. And believe me, it's very hard to mentally drain me because I come out with content all the time. But there are times where, you know, we just want to shut the brain down and let the AI do it for us. So the real question is, when are these AI tools going to get a human touch? When are they going to know how to pull human emotion from what it is that you're trying to type and what it is that you're trying to portray to your audience? And how is that message going to be relayed? How long is that gonna take? Is it gonna take a year, two years, three years? Heck, is it gonna take 10 years? Because as much as we love the first generation iPhone, you'd probably rather have the iPhone 14 than the iPhone 1, right? So how long will it take before you're truly irreplaceable? And will you be irreplaceable when that time comes? Or will you learn to shift and pivot your business to make it make sense so you can still do things for the long run? I personally have never been scared. I've never been worried about video tools, AI tools. I have never thought of them as competition because at the end of the day, they still lack the exact human emotion that you need 
as a business owner that you need in order to put out the work that you want to put out. And believe me, when you're using an AI tool, we can tell that you're using an AI tool. So that already makes it disingenuine to yourself and your brand. And for all those copywriters out there, don't worry. I don't think you're going to be replaceable. You're going to be around for a long, long time because we need you. I feel like a robot can only do so much until they turn around and say something like this. I'll be back. But am I excited to see where OpenAI takes this? Absolutely, 100%. I honestly think it's really cool, like I mentioned earlier. But I wanna know your thoughts. Leave it in the comments below. And if you haven't already done so, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you on the next video.